everybody, Steve Houston. This is I promise I give, do at least one live stream while uh, we're on a working vacation. I think. Well, as you can tell behind me, I'm not really working that much. But I wanted to. Uh, you know, we just came out of a couple of uh, two or three day session of training, uh, meeting up with some agents. The, the number one question, uh, conversation that came up is, you know, what is residual income? What is passive income? And I thought about that over the weekend. How I best to share that? I've got my 18 year old granddaughter down with me this week. And you know, I wanted to have that private time on the beach. And the one thing I wanted to impart to her is, you know, what are you doing at at, uh, at age 18 to build passive income? And that's what I wanted to share with you today. You know, so many people are willing to trade this, right? You know, being able, being in control of your life for a paycheck, basically a job. You know, trading their their hours for money, for dollars, right? Trading time for money. And guess what? Sooner or later, you always run out of time which means you're going to run out of money, right? You know, get anything you want to do in this life, whether you have a job, I'm not trying to be critical of jobs. I know that many people have to have jobs. And jobs are a great thing to have to cash flow your business, give you the opportunity to go work a full-time job. Part-time focus should be your job. Your full-time focus should be what are you doing today to build that, you know, residual passive income. It is the only way you're ever going to be able to control your life is to be able to wake up every day and control your life. The job's not going to give you that. Okay, there's some jobs out there that you happen to be in the early phase of maybe Facebook or something like that. Raise a few millionaires, but you know, for 99.9% of the people out there in the world, we don't have that option. We don't have those golden parachutes we're going to latch onto. Most people, they go, go through high school, they get the entry level job and they get stuck there forever. Or even they go off and start a career, that career can be upset at any moment when they decide they no longer need you. You're not in control of your life. I love the people who tell me, well, I need to go out and find a job. I need, I need to have job security. There's no security in a job. Who are you kidding? The day you walk in there, they no longer need you. The day you get fired and you're done. And if you haven't built any kind of a passive and residual income, what are you going to do? Your life is totally turned upside down in the next 30, 60, 90 days. Here's the truth. Most people ain't got a thousand bucks in their savings account. So how long can you exist without a job? So you don't have any job security at all. Your job security is what you can do. Your job security is in yourself. I know in this business, if things get tough, you know, I can go out and get, grab some leads, which I still do today, and go out and sell some insurance, right? Which creates me a, a residual income stream. I build an agency for the passive income stream, but I'm in control of that. As I sat down and told my granddaughter just a couple hours ago on, on lunch, do you know what passive income? This child, who I love dearly, managed to get through 18 years of school and they never told her what passive or residual income was. Her only path of success in her mind was getting a good job and you know when you wanted to make more money you went out and got another job and if you had two jobs couldn't you didn't have time of day to work a third job you had to go get a better job that paid more. None of that is building anything in terms of a residual income, right? Am I right? But the wealthy people build networks distribution channels that's what it is it's very simple you know in terms of if you want to build an agency that is a distribution channel right how do i get a raise i open another distribution channel but 100 percent of my income is coming from myself somebody me <laughs> is fixing to get killed because sooner or later you get to a point where in your life you can't get up don't want to get up got to take care of a sick child sick family member whatever it is right you're never going to have work-life balance working for somebody else it's not going to happen right so the only way you can do that is while you're working that full-time job, give it part-time focus. Let's face it, most jobs, you go in there and, you, and, you, and you're pushing, you're, you're rubber stamping the same paper every single day. You don't have to know, know a lot. You don't have to do a lot. You've got pretty good at the job. So you can be sitting there thinking about, what am I going to do when I get off? What am I going to do my part-time to be able to start building a passive and residual income? Look, I know that all the network marketers kind of gather around when I have that conversation because it sounds like the same thing they teach you in network marketing. Here's the difference. In our industry, we really do have an opportunity to go out and make $500 to $1,000 a week, $5,000 a week, $10,000, $20,000 a month. We have that opportunity. So in my opinion, you know, it's much more legitimate than network marketing. You know, it's, it's tough to sell soap. It's tough to sell hand lotion enough to create any kind of income on a personal basis. Here it is. We really only can make your money in massively recruiting people. You see, that's not the case here. If you don't want to build an agency, you can make five, six hundred thousand dollars just running appointments, just running leads. That's why it's not a pyramid. That's why it's not a network marketing opportunity. Is it multi-level marketing? Sure. So is real estate. So is car sales. So is most jobs. Most Fortune 500 companies. Somebody is overriding your production. 
bonus on your department, whatever it is. Multi-level marketing comp plans are fairly common, right? So my point to you is this. Here, you're attracted to network marketing and the ability to build a, a passive income stream, and you can't sell enough soap you know, to, to generate $1,000 a week that saves your life. You can't sell enough of that hand lotion to save your life. You can do it here. You go out and sell one policy a week, 500 bucks, 1,000 bucks, 1,000 bucks if you do two. You know, uh, it's not difficult to work two or three days a week and go out and make three, four, five thousand dollars in our industry. It just isn't. It's not that difficult. First of all, we're running leads. It's a leads-based sales opportunity. What does that mean? It means that people want what we have. They've raised their hand. You know, hey, come see me. I want a quote. You know, can you can you can you help me? Doesn't mean they're all going to buy, but it does mean they have interest. We're not in the convincing business. We're in a sorting business, right? We go out, we present their options. Some will, some won't, and we're on to the next lead. So you can scale your income once you learn the basic concepts of this industry. You can make, like I said, a thousand bucks a day, five thousand bucks a day, ten thousand bucks a week, whatever it is. We have people, like I said, will make up to seven hundred fifty thousand dollars selling life insurance. It's insane, right? Now, if you want to build a passive income stream, and remember, I said wealthy people build networks, i.e., for example, distribution channels, right, to create wealth. If you only have eight hours a day to go sell insurance, how do you get 16? Well, you recruit somebody like yourself, put them on your team, right? Plug them into a system that will train them and let them go out. Now you've got two people working eight hours a day, 16 hours, doing the job, go out there selling insurance. How do you get 800 hours a day? Go out there and find 80 people to be on your team. Now you get 800 hours in the course of the day. It's exponential, and you're able to create a tremendous amount of passive income. And in our industry, unlike network marketing, it's passive and residual. Look, the average millionaire has seven types of income streams. Here, we give you three. A very, 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 very good commission up front. It's so good, it should be illegal. It's not, right? We also create residual income on the products that we sell to most carriers and most products. And then if we want to build an agency that's not required with our IMO, we don't cap your income if you don't decide to recruit, right? You're not capped at 80%, right? You can come in here at 70, go to 110, you know, big difference, right? Right, you control the promotions, not somebody else. There's no exchange, well, okay, I'll let you go to 85%, but you gotta bring me 10 people doing X amount of dollars, okay. The only reason why that's done is so they can make money off your production. We bring them new people, they'll allow you to get promoted. We don't do that here, right? So you can decide to build anytime you want to. And if you do want to build, we have the best comp plan in the world in this industry, right? You get you get paid a finder's fee off their production. So as long as you were the right IMO that's not paying you direct, but the carriers are paying you, and you have a good comp plan where you have multiple carriers, right? And they will pay you to build that agency. You're not making more money because you're doing off the backs of others. You're getting paid direct from the carrier because you brought them a new distribution resource, a new person to go out and sell their products. That's not a pyramid, it's not scammy. It's what all businesses do. You open a new location, you benefit from that, right? Same thing here. But now you're building passive, residual, and you're getting paid very, very well when you do. Now here's the deal, I have people call me all the time, text me, email, look, I don't wanna recruit. And I'll say, great, we need you over here. This is the right agency for you. I don't push people to recruit. I think you should, most people should, but here's the criteria. And as soon as I say that, I get all the network marketers wanna call me up and, and come over here and say, look, I am not going to sell insurance. I'm gonna bring over tons and tons and tons of people, and you need to kiss my rear end because I'm gonna bring you all these people. And I say, stop, stop, okay? If you're not willing to leave the front, if you're not willing to do what you tell others to do, then we're not interested in having you over here. You have to be willing to go out and sell insurance yourself before I'm ever interested in you joining our IMO or our agency. I believe you can't tell people to do something you're not willing to do yourself. You've got to dress up, put that uniform on, and go out there, kneecap to kneecap, and talk to people about life insurance, change their lives. You don't have to be the top producer, you don't have to be the good producer, but you've got to be able to go out there and put your name on some applications if you're going to hire people and bring them into this industry. I'm gonna tell you right now, if you do it the other way, you can do that, you're a 1099, you can do whatever you wanna do, you won't make it. You're not gonna succeed. You know, there's an old saying, time will either promote you or expose you. They're gonna figure it out sooner or later, you're all about recruit, 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 don't get those things out of order, and you're not leading by example by going out there and putting your name on application, you're just looking at them as a, as a vehicle for you to get rich and it doesn't work long term. It might work for a couple of months, it might work for a short period of time, it doesn't work long term. And I can tell you, many hundreds of agents have been hired into our agency, those who come over here that have that business plan don't succeed. But the bottom line is again, what are you doing today 
to build passive income, not residual. Residual is great too. We do that in the insurance business and that's fantastic. That's why we're in this business, right? But I'm talking about passive income where you can scale it, right? You can open up new distribution channels. John Paul Getty, I'd rather have 1% of 1,000 people than 100% of my own efforts. That's what I'm talking about, okay? Now look, it's Monday, okay? I've interviewed two or three people today that want to join our agency, and I'm getting ready for our team call tonight. But outside of that, this is it, okay? This is my Monday, right? But I'm out here with Angela, I'm out here with, with Minnie, and I'm out here with my granddaughter, Michaela, for uh, several days on the beach, just doing nothing but really filling my cup, right? So I can better give to our agents and to people like yourself, right? And hopefully some of the things that I tell you or I say on these videos really touches your heart and impacts you that no matter what you do, whether it's our industry, whether it's, like I said, whether it's insurance, whether it's with our IMO or whether it's with our agency, hopefully you're waking up every day and saying to yourself, what do I gotta do today to move my business forward every single day and create that passive income stream? Because I'm gonna tell you something right now, without passive income, you're never going to own your life, ever. Your life will always be upset by somebody else that has his thumb over you and holds power over you because you gave it to them, right? The minute you sell yourself for an hourly wage, I'm not being critical, I don't want you to give me, give me you know, a bunch of hate comments, I'm not trying to do that, but, you, but hey look, I'm just being honest with you, that's what you're doing. When you, when you accept an hourly wage, you sold yourself for that one hour to that boss, to that employer, to that job. And, if, if, and in doing that, he can instruct you and tell you what to do, when to take your lunch breaks, if your kid's sick, and you have to ask if you can go home, if your dog needs to go to the vet, you gotta ask for the time off, you gotta ask when you can have a vacation, when you have, you know, all this other junk. That, look, I don't, I can't even spell the word boss. I don't even want it in my vocabulary. I don't like it, it offends me, because I know this, okay? If I learn how to be a great agent, of selling life insurance, mortgage protection, annuities, advanced products, if I get really good at that, right? I own my life. No matter what happens in my life, I can grab some leads, make some dials, book some appointments, go run those appointments, make some presentations, and I will make some sales, and I'll get paid very, very, very well. Thousand bucks, two thousand bucks a night to doing what I already love, right? So I own my life, and the security is within myself, my ability to learn be coached by a mentor that knows what they're talking about, that's leading from the front, that can teach me the skill sets necessary to succeed in this business. Not so somebody just going around signing people up. I'm talking about a coach, partner, somebody that partnership. It's a business relationship. It is not a sign-up relationship. I'm gonna sign you up, forget about you, hopefully you'll make it, and if you do, I'm gonna get rich. I hate that stuff. It, to me, it's a partnership. For it to work, we both had to be successful, right? Find yourself that kind of guy. If you can't find that, guy, that kind of guy, call me and I'll talk to you and see if we're a fit to work together. But the bottom line is you've got to do it. Because until you do it, you're never gonna own your life and life takes off every single day. I know people that always, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it next year, next month, next week, when I get better, when I, you know, when I move, when I get remarried, when I go through my divorce, when I get, whatever, okay? You gotta start today, right? Look, I believe great things come from desperate times. Look, if your car is up for repossession and your car payment is 550 bucks, or if your house is being foreclosed on and you're behind $20,000 in mortgage payments, nothing else matters. What do you gotta do? Well, if it's your car payment, you gotta go out and find yourself 550 bucks before the tow truck pulls up your front yard. If it's your mortgage payment, you're $20,000 behind to stop a foreclosure, you've gotta go out and find 20,000 bucks, right? So it's, it's empowering that, you know, it's, it's, you, you know what it takes to get the job done. There's no question about it. The path forward is very clear. So if you're in that place right now, you should have a very clear path. Get my license. Find myself a mentor, a coach. He'll teach me this business. Follow the system exactly the way it's taught. No tweaking, right? Learn the phone script. Get your head around learn knowledge, activity knowledge. Work with that coach and mentor on every case, step by step, day to day, 90 days, six months later, you will not even recognize your bank account. Look, I'm not trying to be critical, I'm really not. I'm not critical about jobs, I think you need a job. I think in this industry, going from, from a, from a full-time job to a, 
to part-time selling life insurance and mortgage protection is a good thing. It gives you a runway. You have to buy leads if you're going to be successful here. That's how we, you don't have to, but you should because those people, you know, already raise their hands. Again, like I said, they want to buy this product, right? So that's the way we scale our income. Once you get the basics down, how do you make more money next week? You get more leads, make more dots, book more appointments, go make more presentations, write more ads. Very simple, right? So look, the world needs people that are happy with a the job. They need people that are willing to trade dollars, you know, hours for dollars every single day for the rest of their life. They call those jobs, they call those employees. And I don't mean to be critical, but that doesn't have to be you, right? You can change it, you, you know the truth. The truth is the way you control your life, the way you own your life, right, is to, is to trust in you. The security lies within yourself. I'd rather make $100,000 in this industry than $200,000, $250,000 at a job. Because that job's not going to get me anywhere. I'm not going to own my life. I'm going to be subject to, a, to, to, uh, to, to, the, to some, somebody else's will, right? They can turn my life upside down in a second, right? Look, you're either being leveraged or you're leveraging. Decide to get out there. Start with getting be, becoming an agent. Start with, look, if you need to have a conversation with me, if you're looking for a home to go to, somebody will be with you in every single case, talk about the case, help you in the home, before the home, after the home. That's, that's what we do. But I, this is not a video about trying to get you to come to us. It's trying to impinge, you know, to, to impinge, it's trying to impinge upon you to do something for yourself. This industry right now is on fire. You need to take advantage of it. it how many opportunities are gonna pass you by before you said I, enough is enough here's a, a statement for you that i live by until the pain of being in the same place is greater than the pain of changing where you are in your life right now you will never change anything i don't care how good i am how good you know the opportunity is how great the imo is how great our agency is until you're sick and tired of being sick and tired you're not going to do nothing. So this video is about hoping to get it, to get into your heart, get into your soul, to where you're sick and tired of being where you're at, and you take massive action, right, and move yourself from this place in the hottest time this industry has ever seen, right? Look, way back there is Michaela and Angela walking the beach on a Monday afternoon. I'm not mean to be braggadocious, that's not my point. My point is, it won't take you very long to be able to do that anytime that you want to do that. Do whatever makes you happy, whatever you love. Because look, I love the insurance business, but I do it for this, right? I do it for the passive income. I do it for the residual income that it creates so that I can own my life and I decide to build my business around my life rather than my life around my business. Right? I decide when I work, right? Make sense? I hope it does. Look, I appreciate all you YouTube subscribers and being part of this channel, I really do. Do what all the YouTubers want you to do. Subscribe, make a comment, give me a thumbs up if you like it. Mash that bell for uh, instant live streams that we're gonna be doing uh, constantly, hopefully more and more. Take action today. That's all I'm asking. Take action today. You can do it, and the security lies within yourself wealthy people build networks everybody else looks for work by the way that's angela and right there is angela michaela and minnie listen i want to finish the video today by saying look don't call it if people come to me and they say you know steve i need to go get a guaranteed paycheck or i need a security of a job i've already told you the security lies within yourself not a job not somebody's not some boss you be the owner of your career, your life. You take ownership. It's you, Inc., man, right? It's certainly not guaranteed. Here's what's guaranteed. You work for 40 hours, they give you a paycheck, right? Hopefully that, that check you get is guaranteed to cash at the bank and it's not, you know, it's not a bad check, but that's it. You work for one week, you, you get paid for 40 hours or whatever it is, they gave you a check, you went and cashed it in, and now you gotta do it again this week and next week. And the week after, month after, year after, year after, year after, year after, year, you're trading your hours for a wage. 
for a check. Use the job for what it was designed to be. It is a temporary means of earning income so you can focus on your dream. You can focus on creating residual and passive income so that someday you can wake up and no longer need to trade your time, your soul, your person, your hours, right? For a wage. And then you own your life and you own your future and nobody can put their thumb on you. Nobody can send you a bill you cannot pay. Right? You own your future. Like I said, my security is that I can go out tomorrow morning and grab some leads, make some dials, book some appointments, and go make some presentations, sell some insurance, and get paid in one to three days. Period. And then I get paid residual income. And if you build an agency, you get paid to create passive income. It's simple. I wish they taught that in school today. That's the problem with this educational system. They don't even teach the kids how to balance a checkbook, much less how to, how to own their life. You know why? Since the Industrial Revolution, this country has been in the business of creating employees. Right? Taking your kids and my kids and my grandkids and teaching them how to be what? Employees. Not how to be good business people, how to be good employees. Show up, punch in, do what you're told, punch out, take two smoke breaks and one lunch break, get your check, come back next week, do it all over again. We'll use you for 30, 40 years, spit you out into retirement, steal your, your retirement money if we can, right? And leave you in, 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 a, in, a, in, a, in a point of desperation where you're hoping that you don't outlive your retirement check, your 401k, your pension. Right? You realize that some people retire on $500,000, million dollars in their 401k, and their, their pension program, and they divide that amongst 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. They're hoping they don't, they don't die. After that pension runs out, they're going to die broke, die busted. That's a sad way to be. Sad. Don't be that person. Right? Don't be that person. You don't have to be that person. You know the truth now. Wake up every day and build a residual and passive income. I'll leave you with this. An old saying that I love, you'll hear Angela and I say it a lot. Some people's some days are other people's every days. And it says it all. You know, I want six Saturdays and one Sunday in my life. I don't want Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I want six Saturdays, one Sunday. I hope you do. If I can help you, give me a call, send me a text, Shoot me an email. Go do it for yourself. Bye.